Hello everyone, welcome to episode 55 of this awesome, amazing Osu Let's Play series. In the last episode, we talked about speed and I gave my thoughts on training it. And in this episode, I want to talk about peripherals. So basically your input devices that you use to play this game. So mouse, tablet, blah, 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 touchscreen, things like that. I will talk about the differences between all of them and things like that. But yes, before we get into that, as usual, I'd like to shout out that I live stream every single day over at twitch.tv. So that will be linked in the description. But if you want to hang out with me or watch me play this game live, ask me questions, anything like that, definitely would be very happy to have you stop by, say hello. And also bonus points if you tell me that you came from this Let's Play series, we'll be very, very happy to see you there. So yes, as a brief introduction to the different peripherals that exist in this game. So there are two, okay, so three input Okay, so basically there's moving your cursor and then there's actually clicking on the notes. So for moving your cursor, there are two main methods, that being uh, using a mouse or using a graphics tablet. And then the third less common method is to use a touchscreen surface. So if you have a touchscreen laptop or a monitor or something like that. And then for tapping, there are two main inputs. Either you click or use, use what's called mouse buttons. So either clicking with your mouse, or if you're using tablet, then that would be tapping the tablet on the surface, which makes it click. And I don't think touchscreen tap. Oh, yeah, 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 you can you can tap with a touchscreen as well. That that also counts as mouse buttons. And then the other category of tapping would be to use keyboard buttons. So by default, you have two buttons mapped to Z and X or Z and X, and those are the tapping buttons for your keyboard. And then the third, I guess, less common style of tapping would be to alternate between using a mouse button and using a keyboard button. So that is typically called tap X if you tap with your tablet um, and then press like X basically. The, bit, it, the, the letter X is there because the default finger or like the default keys are Z and X. And I guess it's just because like you're using one finger on the X key, which I guess it, it just kind of assumes that you single tap with your index finger. But anyway, um, that and then one finger instead of using the Z button, you tap with your tablet. Um, or it is sometimes also called click X, which is basically the same thing, but you're using your mouse typically left click. So yes, that is that. So those are that's the basic rundown. I think people probably already knew that, but I do want to go into the differences and I guess which like play styles have different advantages and, and things like that. So before I get into that though, I want to mention so tablet drivers. So if you use a tablet, there's been this ongoing discussion of like, oh, should you use your tablet's default drivers or should you use these custom ones? There's this pretty popular third party tablet driver known as Open Tablet Driver or OTD for short. And that I think these days especially is the most popular one. And I want to show this to you guys in case you don't know, but OC Laser has OTD directly integrated into it. If you go to the settings, and I, okay, I already have it searched, but by default, you go, okay, so this actually be off by default. So, you know, you just search tablet in your settings and then you turn it on and this, okay, okay. So, okay, I have, I have a couple things. Let me just set everything back to default. Okay. Oh, wait, actually, no. Conform to current game. Oh, no. Oh, it's doomed. Oh, no. Uh, okay, well, but basically this, wait, okay, reset to flurry. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay. So, pretty sure this is what it looks like by default. So you turn it on, and this is actually Open Tablet Driver OTD, directly incorporated into Laser. So you can set your area. So personally, I am left-handed, so I have the tablet flipped 180 degrees. And let's see, let me just set my area. So personally, aspect area ratio lock, and then turn the width. I think I use 75. Actually, it's decimal, but yeah, okay, this actually does not support decimal. But um, I think probably one day it will. If you're really, really specific about like the decimal number of your area, then I guess maybe just use the third party version for now, but pretty sure that'll be a thing at some point in the future. But I just, I did want to show this to you guys that it does exist in Osu Laser. And I think actually my, oh shoot, I think my area is typically a little lower. Oh, I can't drag it. Okay, I gotta, I gotta, okay, okay, I got this, I got this. Okay, let's go. Okay, that, that's a little closer. Wait, no, oh no, okay, shoot. Wait, I think it's too far. Um, okay, you know that that's no, that's actually wrong. You know what? Just just reset these. I'll just have it in the middle. So personally, I actually just don't I actually don't use OTD. I use the default Wacom drivers that exist for my tablet. Just because like I started playing before any of those came out, and then when they did, I was like, okay, these are cool, but I have no reason to switch, I guess. I didn't have any problems with my current drivers, so I just kind of left it as is. But let's see. Oh, binger, binger. 
Oh, between the last episode and this episode, I went through... Okay, so let me show you guys a small detour. So, okay, back to top. So, oh my god, I was scrolled down so far. So, I did not have many maps downloaded on Laser. And what I did, because I was like, I need maps for these Let's Play episodes. So, I went through... Yeah, press Control D to open this BMAP listing, or you can click that button up there. And so, there's a button for maps that you have already played. This might be... Um, OSU supporter only, I'm pretty sure, but um, you know, there, there's a button here. I, for sure, if you have OSU supporter, then that's definitely an option. And this shows only maps that you have actually played before. And I went through and basically downloaded all the maps that I thought were pretty high quality enough to have in my song list in case I wanted to show them to you guys. Honestly, I think like a lot of these maps are pretty high quality as well, but I just picked out a couple. <gasps> Wait, I, I missed this one. Oh, that was so good. <laughs> Uh, I skipped some of them that I know I already played in the series, so that is that. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys. I have just like a trillion maps now. I might at some point try to figure out if I can export my song, my loser song list in particular, because I think this is more of a starter pack that's like worth exporting and sending out to the public rather than my actual OSU song list that just has a bunch of like random maps that I would never suggest anyone play. <laughs> so yes, anyway, okay, so main differences between mouse and tablet. Here we go. Okay, are you guys ready? The, the million dollar question, what is the difference between mouse and tablet? Actually, okay, I'm not even going to play. Just to make sure I get this boarding right because this is very, very, okay, listen closely, okay? The difference between mouse and tablet. If you are more comfortable with mouse, then the difference is that you are more comfortable with mouse. Okay, so basically, like, the advantage to using mouse is that it's more comfortable for you if you are more comfortable with it. And then tablet, if it's more comfortable for you, then the advantage is that it's more comfortable for you. That That is basically it. I think just a very convoluted way to say that it is largely preference-based. There are some maps, actually. Okay, so there's some like types of patterns that people say are more comfortable with mouse versus with tablet. And I think it balances out from what I've seen to the point where it really doesn't matter which one you pick. Um, but yes, with that out of the way... I, I do want to actually okay I, i'm not i'm not using hidden on this map that is too much focus for me uh this map is so good though made of fire it's an absolute classic so oh shoot okay driver oh, look at this look at this cursor jittery jitteriness <laughs> this is me having my cursor still yeah that's one thing about drivers as well i think like there's like s custom settings to change your like stability basically what is it called smoothing i'm pretty sure uh personally i don't have that um, typically. I have heard that these tablet, like OTD, or okay, the laser integrated tablet drivers like bypass like Windows like settings or whatever, like Windows hardware, like slow slowness or like or whatever it's called. But um, personally, I'm not super driver savvy. I don't think it makes that big of a deal. I think it's, it's less about having the perfect driver settings and more about just kind of getting better at the game. So... Yes, with that out of the way, though, I do want to mention a couple, I guess, miscellaneous thoughts when it comes to um, playstyles in general. And okay, so for mouse, I would say, oh my god, no, I I feel like I should just I should switch switch my drivers back. Anyway, I do want to show you because I'm just I'm just not used to this. But okay, let me let me actually turn this off, and I'm pretty sure it should just take me back to my old drivers. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, see now I'm holding my pen still. And it's not as, as jittery. Okay, okay, there we go. Uh, that, that was a bit odd. I've never actually played with those, but um, it, it probably works for some people, but I'm just not used to it. So anyway, I think mouse. Okay, so the most common thing that people mention when it comes to like mouse versus tablet is what's called mouse drift and absolute versus relative positioning. Basically, if you lift, okay, so if you take your mouse and lift it and then move it across your desk, and then put it back down and start using the mouse, your cursor on the monitor will not have moved at all. On the other hand, if you use tablet, you lift the pen and you take it from... Wait, okay, so like, put your tablet pen on the left side of the tablet, and then lift the pen and move it to the right side, and then put the pen back down on the tablet, then your tablet cursor will have... or the cursor on the screen will have moved, like, across the screen. Basically, like, one spot on the tablet is like correlates to one spot on the monitor as opposed to with the mouse you have uh, like j just because your mouse is in a specific spot on your desk doesn't mean it's going to be a on a specific spot 
uh, like on your monitor, if that makes sense, your cursor. So that is the difference, and there's also something called raw input for mouse input. Okay, let me find it in the settings after I finish this, but basically, there's also something called cursor acceleration, which, I, okay, so this is for mouse in particular. If you, <clears throat> um, like, the basically, the, the faster you move your mouse, the, like, faster it'll actually move on the screen as well. That's called cursor acceleration, I'm pretty sure. And um, something called raw input. Uh, high precision mouse. Okay, yeah, so this bypasses cursor acceleration. Okay, raw input, right. Um, so, high precision mouse. So, it tries to have more accurate mouse movement. Honestly, I'm, I don't actually know if most mouse players use this. I think people say to use it. Yeah, yeah. so th this used to be called raw input, and that's what it's called on typical OSU client as well. But, yeah, I would suggest probably using this if you're a mouse player. There's no reason not to. But, um, that, that's, I just wanted to show that to you guys. So, regarding mouse drift, okay, so there's a top mouse player named I'm a Faint Lad, and he has told me before, like, what he advises for mouse drift is that, the, okay, so the common mistake a lot of people make when it comes to mouse drift is that they wait until their mouse is, like, very off, of, like, you know, very, like, far away, like, very drifted, basically, and then they make one large adjustment, but in reality, what you want to do is make a lot of small adjustments, like basically like constantly, like literally whenever you can, just like lift your mouse a little and pull, pull it back. Like if you ever get to the point where you need to make a big adjustment for your mouse drift, then it's like too late. It's kind of like um that thing with like about hydration or it's like if you are feeling thirsty, then you're already dehydrated or something like you should just be drinking water constantly, even if it doesn't necessarily feel like you're dehydrated. It was too quiet. What happened? 40 maybe? Okay, okay. But uh, hopefully that sort of makes sense. Personally, I okay, so I started using tablet very, very early on when I started playing this game. And I've told this story in previous episodes, but basically I was already interested in getting a tablet before I found out about Osu. So once I discovered Osu, I was like, oh shoot. I had been meaning to buy a tablet anyway, so I guess I'll just buy one. And that was basically the story, and I was like, okay, hey, tablet time. <laughs> so I personally, okay, I don't have much first-hand experience when it comes to, like, mouse versus tablet and, like, my own experiences, but I do know, for example, some, I think, what is it, making, like, straight lines, I feel like is easier with mouse, and I, I feel like, yeah, anything that requires, like, flowy motion, I feel like flowy is actually a little easier with mouse. But it's, it's really hard to say, but I think, obviously, I think if you practice, then it's not a big deal. I think also linear patterns, like for that same reason, like linear single taps and things like that, I've heard are a little easier with mouse. But yeah, honestly, I don't really know. There's some like awkward angles that I've heard uh, people say are like really tricky with the mouse or like harder with mouse than tablet. So it really just depends and uh, there's also a discussion of like for tablet players like if you're left-handed versus right-handed like if a pattern is on a certain side of the screen then it's like easier or harder so honestly just just be better at the game and you won't have those problems right pretty sure that's how it works so um okay i do want to talk about okay, so I'm, I'm pretty sure most people already and that there's like a trillion videos out there about like mouse versus tablet and things like that so those are basically my thoughts in like a short form but I do want to mention as well, um, I guess, tap X, click X, things like that. Um, and if I think they're good, if, the, if I think it's worth you playing the game that way. Uh, personally, I think the skill, okay, so the barrier of entry, I feel like, for like getting decent scores with tap X or click X is higher. But at the same time, I think it has a higher skill cap as well because like switching between both fingers especially for like speed like it takes so long or, like a lot longer to be able to get very good scores but i feel like you have a higher like cap at which you can like play hard stuff if you're able to get very comfortable with tap x especially if you can fully alternate okay tap x full alternate and i feel like for some reason it's japanese players that tend to like master the style or like be like pioneers in this tapping in like in this peripheral style gameplay style 
um, there is this old Japanese player named uh, Oxysidone, or Yami Masuda, I think was his old name. And he was the pioneer of like tap X, like full alternating. Back in like 2013, I'm pretty sure he had some insane scores. And there's a couple other players these days. I know there's a really top click X player that like, plays with mouse, and their name is Haga1115. And actually, they're a top Taiko player. Okay, maybe it's because of Taiko, to be honest. Taiko is basically this like drum game where you're like tapping really quickly with both hands. So maybe they just, they just have like the coordination genetics, <laughs> okay, not not literally genetics, but like you know the practice of having, like I guess like having so much practice with coordinating, tapping with both their hands. That I think it's just comes more naturally to them. But yeah, I personally think if like at the end of the day, like it really just comes down to what style is, for one most comfortable, but also I think most fun. Actually, if a style is not comfortable for you, but you think it's really fun, then like, honestly, you can get really good with any like any style that you want. Um, there is an old player named Reviklia, um, South Korean player who was really really well known for playing like super hard stuff and getting like world record like passes, like first passes on maps with um, mouse only. So they would aim with their mouse, they would also click with their mouse, and they played on, on a laptop. I'm pretty sure. So yeah, Reviklia is kind of just a beast. All right, so ta oh, okay. Let's see, touchscreen. Okay, touchscreen. I want to talk about touchscreen a little. I think the information that we have on like touchscreen is somewhat limited, but basically, okay. I feel like there's two styles. Okay, actually three styles of touchscreen. So one is you just like tap on the touchscreen like entirely, and you don't use your keyboard at all. Like if there's a triple or something, then you just like I don't know, try to tap really fast or something. Uh, so that is one style, it was just like touchscreen tap only, I guess. And then one style is like, it's basically tap X, but it's not alternating. It's just like you tap, like single tap basically with touchscreen. And then whenever there's a triple, you start doing tap X or like touch X, I guess is, it would be called. And then I guess the third style is, it's actually keyboard only. And you're basically using your finger as a tablet like instead of it's very similar to tablet but you're actually putting your finger on the screen um, or you might use a glove or you might use like a, a touch screen pen or something like that i think the biggest disadvantage for touch screen is input delay most touch screen devices out there have a lot of input delay because they weren't designed for like high precision low latency gaming it's crazy like god mode so yeah not really designed for osu so it's very difficult to find touch screens with low latency. But there are some out there, I'm pretty sure, because there's definitely some top touchscreen players that... Actually, there was a time where the PP world record was set with touchscreen. Um, pretty sure that was Freedom Diver. Was it Was it High Tie? Okay, so someone, someone correct me. I'm pretty sure it was High Tie. Um, some, some old map from like 2014 or something. But yes, I'm pretty sure... I think that's pretty much it. Okay, so let's see. How long is this map? Five minutes. Okay, let's find a shorter map. And then, oh, okay, okay, one minute map. Right, let's go, Fiery Rage. Okay, so I guess closing thoughts when it comes to uh, peripherals. Uh, I think it just helps a lot to know the different styles that are out there. There's one style that I remember it being on the playstyle wiki, but it's called Dual Mouse. And the, the wiki entry said something that it was popularized by a top player named Azer, who He's still around, but not really as much, like not really as a player. But basically, it's like you aim with a mouse, and then instead of using a keyboard, you use another mouse to tap. And typically, you have that one taped down to your desk so it doesn't move. But that there's honestly there's people like set up some crazy stuff to like play this game. I know someone in the comments is gonna mention like playing with a baguette, like tapping with a baguette on your spacebar. Like instead of actually tapping the keyboard, you're like holding a baguette and or like some other item. And you like press a key on your keyboard with that. Uh, yeah, honestly, some people are like, oh, I play with their feet or something like that. There's like videos on Reddit. I think someone got like a, oh, someone, I think, oh, I don't remember what it was exactly. But they use like a controller to, is it a controller? Or oh, I don't, okay, so I don't remember. It was something somewhere recently, but 
it's some like crazy input devices that people use sometimes to play this game. I've I've seen some people also like port Osu into like a Nintendo Switch, a Osu Laser, and like I guess use a Nintendo Switch to play this game. Like honestly, the sky is the limit when it comes to playstyles in this game. Like it's not just tablet keyboard or mouse keyboard. I think just experiment with something that you think would be cool or just like something that you would want to play and really just play like that. I think that is all there really is to it. Like at the end of the day, no matter what peripheral device you use, you're going to have to practice a lot to get better. That is just how improvement works at literally anything. So yes, hopefully that gives a brief introduction, uh, albeit a little sloppy, but hopefully you guys learned something new about peripherals and of course, there are many other videos about peripherals out there if you want to learn more, but that is going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching all the way until the end. And if you have suggestions for future episodes, please leave them in the comments because I do read all the comments on these videos. And if you're watching in the future, do check out my channel because I upload every single day. So watch my future videos, watch my past videos, just just, just, just YouTube, subscribe, okay? <laughs> and also check me out on Twitch because I stream every single day over there. But yes, with that, see you guys next time.